I'm Sang Wu. I'm a professor of psychological sciences and also the chair and the director for the Susan Barkley Butler Center for Leadership Excellence at Purdue University. So the idea of using AI or machine learning in psychology has been around for the past, I would say, um, two decades at least. But really recently, I think we, we are getting somewhere really exciting. So one example that I want to share is automated video interviews. So um, recently, the job seekers uh, probably have multiple opportunities to kind of get on their own mobile phone to um, have this asynchronous one-way job interview. Um, and then, you know, the, the automatic scoring algorithms actually just spits out the, the results for the fit between the potential uh, job applicants and, and the job that they're trying to fill. So as a selection tool, there's a lot of questions and potential concerns about, you know, the fairness and where does the bias sort of, you know, fits into this, you know, and I think psychologists have been really trying to understand that um, um, concerns and the implications for the fairness. If we kind of start thinking beyond um, AI as a selection tool, but more as a developmental tool. So I think it really creates a new opportunity, really exciting opportunity for people like you and I just to you know, use that uh, um, scoring algorithms and automated um, video interview tool to practice what you can do to maybe increase your um, um, interpersonal communication skills and the way that you, you know, um, um, get across your ideas more effectively, AI can create that sort of um, really scalable and easy to access type of tools for individuals to use. So think of a situation where um, you go into this hypothetical work scenario and you need to show your potential to be a good leader or a good manager. So what you're doing, your behaviors are being observed by human raters, right? The assessors who are sitting in the room taking the notes and um, make their ratings based on what they have seen. So that whole process that are done by human raters can be replicated by machine learning and algorithmic processes. So now the whole process is automated, so you don't need the human raters anymore. So the combination of um, the human raters in the, in the room and, and those um, algorithmic scoring methods um, can actually do uh, a, a whole lot more um, in terms of the, the measurement validity and the reliability of the whole process. So there is just a lot going into developing a leader and developing a worker. And now we don't have to rely solely on the human labors to be able to do that. Um, technology can kind of come side by side and aid our efforts to really create that you know, high quality educational opportunities.